So I recently had a need to convert my Weber natural gas grill to propane. And it's a fairly new grill. I called Weber and they were less than helpful. Um, they said it was impossible. They don't sell the parts. It's dangerous and it voids the warranty. So I've no, I know I've converted Weber's in the past and uh, as well as some other grills. So I thought it was probably possible. I found a couple of instructional videos online that were helpful, but I uh, thought I'd put together uh, just a quick video of my take on the conversion. So uh, the instructions should work for any of the Genesis 2 um, E-series grills with the high performance, the square high performance burners. So uh, in order to do a conversion from natural to propane, uh, we need three things. We need a uh, propane regulator and hose to hook to the fuel tank, which you see here. The, the black end hooks to the uh, propane tank, and then the other end hooks to the gas grill where the natural gas uh, once connected. The next thing we'll need to do is adjust the air fuel mixture. So there's this part of the burner, which is called the Venturi, which is adjustable and allows us to um, allow more air in or less air. We're gonna talk about adjusting that uh, towards the end. But the third thing we need is um, an, a new orifice. So um, natural gas um, orifices are larger, propane orifices are smaller. The orifice is the hole where the gas is ejected into the burner and it's, it's at the end of the valve. So because I needed to go smaller, I certainly can't make a, an already drilled hole any smaller, so I had to order some new orifices. So um, in order to determine the hole size that I need in the orifice, I just did a quick Google search for BTU orifice chart. And I know from reading the literature that the burners in the grills are about 13,000 BTU. So on using this chart, I found 13,000 BTUs, followed it over to the drill size, and ordered a number 57 uh, drill bit. So now that I know what I needed, I um, dismantled the grill. And I'm sorry, I don't have a lengthy video on how to dismantle the grill, but it was fairly straightforward. Till I reached, uh, till I got the manifold off. And the manifold is where the gas comes into the grill and it goes into the valves where the knobs are. And then it's uh, ejected out through the orifice and into the burner. So once I have that on the workbench, I removed the orifice and I was able to just discard that because uh, that's, again, that hole is way too large. In order to um, get the right orifice, I ordered a number of them from various companies on the internet because uh, it's difficult to sort of gauge size and, and thread patterns. Uh, and this was the one that I felt was the most uh, close, the closest match for uh, this setup. It seemed to thread in nice. Um, they come pre-drilled with a real small hole, but it was it's a little too small. So uh, once I determined which orifice fit the, the valve uh, the best, I then took my number 57 drill bit, drilled out the hole to number 57. Um, then it's time to install that new orifice into the end of the valve. So make sure you apply a generous amount of pipe dope that's compatible with LP gas. Uh, the pipe dope gets applied to the threads. Just make sure you don't clog up the valve or clog up the, the tiny orifice hole. Um, cinch that down uh, pretty secure. You don't want to go, you know, it is brass, so it's, it's fairly soft. So you don't want to go super tight, but you want to go tight enough that you're not going to cause any leaks. So it tightened up fairly well. The final thing we have to do is um, adjust the air mixture. And so I assembled the grill uh, to the point where I could light the burner, but was still able to access this adjustment screw and play with the um, air fuel mixture. So uh, once the grill was lit, I had a fairly dirty yellow flame. So I opened this Venturi up until I had a nice blue flame. Um, if you open it too far, the flame will lift up off the burner. You'll hear, you'll hear like a jet engine sound. Um, if it's too close and you're not getting enough air, you'll get that dirty yellow flame. So uh, once I determined the, the best optimum flame, I tightened down that screw. I made the other burner Venturi match. Um, I reassembled the gas grill and uh, I now have a working propane Weber.